The only preachers there. The preacher in Indiana I went to preach for. I'm going to share this and then I'm going to move on with the service. The preacher in Indiana I went to preach for literally came to me. Literally. After the, the two services that I preached, he was driving me to the airport. And he said to me, Brother, did you not find any of my church members attractive? Were you not attracted to any of my church members? And when he said this to me, honestly, you know, stuff hits me sometimes like I must be stupid or something because, see, I'm so not expecting that kind of a comment that when I hear it, it blows me away. And I heard this and I, I, I kind of crunched up my face. I looked at him. I said, what? <laughs> he said, well, you know, some of the folks in our church thought you were just a real handsome man. And, you know, and, and they were kind of disappointed that you didn't seem to be interested in anybody in our church. This is a, an affirming Pentecostal pastor, people. So don't, don't tell me you got stuff you ain't got. I've got enough of the Holy Ghost for the both of us, and I promise you, if you're faking it, I know. And I looked at him and I said, Brother, that is not why I came here. That is That doesn't have nothing in the universe to do with why I came here. I came here to be an encouragement to you and to try to help you and to try to be a blessing to you and to your church during a difficult time. I said, my God almighty, I've got my partner at home. I said, I'm not, I'm not out traveling around. I said, you won't never find one person at any conference I've ever attended who will tell you they saw me going into somebody else's motel room. Never happened, never happened. You'll never find one person tell you when I went to their church that I so much as exchanged phone numbers with anybody in their congregation. Never happened. It don't happen, folks. Not with this preacher. It doesn't. 